Hey every viewer, today I'm going to be showing you how I made a tiny iPhone with just an Apple Watch and a pair of AirPods. Let's get started. This is a phone. And this is a smaller phone. This is my iPhone Nano, or it's a combination between an Apple Watch and a pair of AirPods. But before we get into that, we have to start with this, my OG design. To make these into a phone, I had to think about a couple of things. The first is the speaker to call with, and then it was the microphone and then the screen. These are what I'd say the most essential parts for a modern smartphone. And I had to get these three things, the Apple Watch and the AirPods to work just like that. So I created this 3D model. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's just an Apple Watch and AirPods cut out of a rectangular prism and I brought it to real life and it looks like this. So my plan was to make the top AirPod act like a speakerphone. So if you look at the iPhone right here, it's the same idea. And then the bottom one would act as the microphone, just like the iPhone. And obviously the screen would act as the screen. So this was just the first prototype model. I didn't want anything too special, so I made it simple and uh, I wanted it to be usable and get something that was functional. But this thing had one problem. They're sticking out. So I went back to the drawing board and thought of something that would be flush and not have the AirPods sticking out like that. So I went back to the drawing board and I came up with this. It's pretty simple. It's just a curved rectangular prism again with the AirPods cut out. This time on the top it's flush and on the bottom it's flush and it has all the cutouts for each port. And this is what it looks like in real life. The printer messed up the bottom part, which I'll be fixing in the next iteration, but this one can fit the AirPods pretty nicely on the top and the bottom. And the Apple Watch snaps in just like before. So now I had a finished concept. It worked properly. The top act as the speaker, the bottom is the microphone, and it kind of resembled a phone. The only problem I had though was the print quality. And the right button wouldn't press as well as I wanted to. And I just wanted to tweak the design a little bit. So I went back to Rhino and I tweaked the design. The top speaker portion, I made vertical. I have shifted the watch to the right a little bit. Uh, I made the right button a little thinner and made everything a little flatter and adding a little thickness to it as well. So it finished printing and this is what it looks like. The top portion is blank for the speaker to be, the middle for the watch and the bottom for the second AirPod. So the watch fits pretty nicely and now the AirPods are the things that changed a little bit. The top one now fits vertically so it creates a vertical speaker on the top and the bottom one just slides in unlike before leaving a giant gaping hole this one's a little bit more smooth and pleasing to look at scrolling was never an issue but that works perfectly fine here and comparing it to my iphone they both have a top speaker which looks pretty decent in my opinion they both have a bottom speaker using the airpod on the my custom phone and the microphone and also the screen but that's pretty obvious so looking at the design a little close up the bottom has two holes for the speaker or the airpod and the right side has a space for the button the microphone and the digital crown the left side has a space for the apple watch speaker and the airpods microphone and finally on the back are two airpods and their little cozy homes So you're probably wondering how the AirPods are as speakers. So here's just the little bit. So 
So it's obviously not like a perfect product that I made to use on a daily basis, but it works and the speakers work surprisingly well as well. So this is what it looks like when you're calling people on this tiny phone. Um, so I've tested the calling feature and I've been told that it works, but you know, it's not necessarily supposed to be a perfect product. It was just me to test out my design skills or to just to practice and it worked. So if you just want to take it on the go and want to get a quick setup, just toss in your AirPods and then your Apple Watch. Easy. Now you have a janky watch phone that you can take anywhere you want and looks good enough. Anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. This took a decent amount of time to make. Um, if you want to make it yourself, it's made out of TPU flexible filament. It took around eight hours for the final version and six for the other two. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, just like the video. And if you like my videos, click subscribe. Bye.